For seven months, I was with a burnout, a really bad burnout. I didn't want to do anything. I hate everything, watching movies, anime series, cartoons, uh, art in general. I hated art. I just felt so much pressure when I saw art. And, you know, when you watch videos of how to fix your burnout they always say you have to rest and do nothing and just listen to your body but that's, I don't feel that's true I feel like in some point it's true you have to rest yes but if you are depressed for example like me you will need more than that because it's your depression yeah what a surprise <laughs> but you know you need to do the things do the stuff force you to do the things to and not force you for example i got this burnout because i was just practicing and practicing art and just learning and i stopped doing what I love I stopped creating what I love creating in general just was learning and studying and that made me feel like I didn't like that I didn't want to keep doing that but it was because what I wanted I wasn't listening really to what I wanted I was just in autopilot this yeah I just was learning and not creating you know so for starters uh, with depression you lost interest in everything yeah, like I said and I didn't have a passion in anything so what I began to do was to draw every day or more or less every day but just doodles and scrabbles and just things that doesn't matter just ex expressing myself just doing my face in different with different expression of sadness or something like that and then I saw Our Flag Means Dead if you haven't seen it I recommend it a lot if you like gay stuff and pirates gay pirates yay that's amazing it's amazing anyways um i watched that i just i just fell in love with a character easy if you don't know it if you don't it's a pretty uncomfy character <laughs> but it's funny it's a it's fun it's a, a fun character so I started drawing him and I just I never post anything I, that's the point of this don't post anything just draw without the pressure of you have to post you have to post to be discovered no 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 you are doing this for yourself like the old times you know and that's important do it for yourself, for the kid inside you. Um, and I, I just I started feeling passion again for drawing, for creating, and also other thing I did was that I just uh, for almost a year I was writing in a journal every day without a stop in a page for 50 minutes or less I just draw in a page everything that my head thinks and I fall in love with that too I just uh, I left it when I got in the burnout the, of 7 months but I went back again I've been working in this for months now 
I've been working on recovering for two months and for two months I've been writing my thoughts every day almost every day sometimes I forgot sometimes I don't have time for that it's okay no pressure is that's the important part no pressure and I fall in love with writing I don't English is not my first language but I write in English and I fall in love with writing a lot and then I thought huh I make a lot of scenarios that hurt me in my head why not to use that imagination to create stories with other names with a lot I don't know they are going to be dramatic stories maybe but I just in October 29 um, of this year obviously I start making short comics short uh, stories not comics and I again I fall in love with that I my brain is being making stories. I I only have doing the bleh, bleh. I only have made three stories in three days in uh, like that <laughs> consecutive is the word I think. <laughs> um, and I also find love it's so fun to do that. I send them to my friends. Sometimes they ignore me because they are working or doing their stuff. It's okay. But I, I fall in love with writing and creating it again. It's, I don't know, I discover a new passion. And I feel good. I feel really good. And I think that you, so, you should try new stuff. Music, for example, I love music, and in one day I I really want to be a composer, create music for games. Mm, I don't think I'm going to be professional at it, but I just want to do it, and I'm pretty positive that I will. I I really am, and. My point is that when you have a burnout, you have to rest, but remember that there's going to be a point where resting is not going to be enough and you are going to decide to wake, wake up, uh, stand up, stand up <laughs> for yourself and do the things you forgot you like. You have to, you will have to fight for it and it will hurt, it will be so painful and heavy, everything will feel awful until it's, it's, it isn't awful, it, yeah, and I hope you can do that also. I'm not going to lie. I I'm taking medicine until present. But you know, even if I take until present, it's not enough if I only lay in my bed and watch TikToks. Yeah. So I hope you um, like the video no in the way of like in the bottom of the the bottom but but bottom but but yeah don't I mean like the video of listening the video you like listening to the video <laughs> yeah um it, it feels like a podcast right I it wasn't intended to be but I wanted to just say what I was thinking because I know there's people feeling like me and I want someone I, 
I wish someone told me this sooner that I have to stand up for for myself and fight and it was it's going to hurt and everything like that but there was no one that really understands how I feel in the artist um, category <laughs> yeah I don't know anyways that's all thanks for watching see you next time bye bye Thank you.